Hi, we're going to look in this little video at Google in terms of Osterwalder et al's business model canvas. But before we start, just a disclaimer. When I say we're going to look at Google, I mean the traditional Google, the search of the ads. Not all the corporate products and email and docs that they've got nowadays. Similarly, when I say we're going to look at it in terms of the business model canvas, we're really going to look at some basic ideas, no detail, and certainly not all of the facets of the business model canvas. Let's start. Remember the blank business model canvas. The nine aspects that Osterwalder et al says we should think about when we think about the operations of a business. Core in the business model canvas is the value proposition. And if you think about what is the value proposition for Google, you are probably going to be right. Search. Who is the customer segments? that you search. Well, virtually all web users got a need for search. But of course, that has got one problem. The revenue stream is non-existent because search is free to all web users. That left Google with a little bit of a dilemma. How to get a revenue stream that actually brings in money? Because as you can imagine, operating the Google empire certainly costs a pretty penny. So they thought, can we actually sell targeted ads? At that point in time, targeted ads was a novel idea. Everybody just sold banner ads, or the like. But Google had all the information about what people are searching for. If they could give advertisers the option of targeting their ads to something that the user is already interested in, they could be making a killing. So they're serving the customer segment advertisers here. And of course, then they came up with one of their main innovations, and that is keynote auctions. Keyword auctions is where advertisers specify by means of a keyword when their ads should appear, and they can actually bid on the keyword. So if you've got a very popular keyword, you are going to pay quite a lot. If it's something more off the beaten track, you could actually get keywords at a very reasonable price. But that led to the main revenue stream of Google. But they started thinking, how do we get more targeted ads? Because surely the homepage of Google is not the only place where they can have ads. Of course, the way to think about that is if you can help other people making money from their stuff, you're in a prime position. So they were thinking about how can we help other people to monetize their content, serving the customer segment of content owners, all those people with blogs, or some kind of web page where they offer some kind of content which potentially is valuable to somebody. If they could put a targeted ad on that website, that would be great. They offered this content monetization option called AdSense to content owners for free. But of course, 
that made sure that they could have much more targeted ads through the AdWords service. You could get many more advertisers to actually pay some decent money. So there you have it. The main aspects of how Google actually started becoming the behemoth it currently is. Let's take a couple of notes about some of the other aspects of the business model canvas. What's the key activities that Google should be engaged in? Yes, they certainly do a lot of very technical things, but it all boils down to three aspects. They must manage their platform. They must manage these three services searching AdWords and AdSense. And they must make sure that more and more people come to the platform by spending a lot of effort in promoting the platform. If they do that according to the little bit that we spoke about, they're going to make a killing. And they are doing just that. What's their key resources? If they didn't have the technical search platform that they've got, they wouldn't be Google. So yes, they've got lots of other resources. People being a good example. But the key resource is really the platform. And of course, that is also where the majority of their costs are. So their cost structure are dominated by platform costs. Yes, again, the engineers doesn't come cheap. But keeping the platform running contributes to the majority of costs. So we thought a little bit about Google. We, see, we saw that keyword auctions are the main revenue stream that drives the three different services that started making Google profitable. And we saw that the search platform are absolutely critical resource contributing to a large portion of the cost. Of course, this is also where we saw Google making excellent innovations. They changed the way that data centers looked because they realized the platform is important, but they had to cut cost. I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of how the business model canvas can help us to think about a business. Because that is really what we're going to do in this course. We are going to talk about IT as a business. And all the things that we're going to talk about, we're going to try and position as something that is important in terms of the business model canvas for a business that we will call IT. That's it for now. Cheers.